The avian influenza that was detected at a farm in the southwest of Korea has been confirmed to be a highly pathogenic strain. The government ordered all ducks on the farm to be culled and placed a 48-hour countrywide movement ban on poultry. And the prime minister has rolled up his sleeves to prevent the virus from spreading further. Our EG1 brings us the latest. The Korean government has confirmed that a suspected bird flu case was found to be highly pathogenic. The Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs said Sunday that the avian influenza discovered a day earlier on a duck farm in Kuchang, Jeollabukdo province, some 300 kilometers southwest of Seoul, tested positive as a highly pathogenic strain of H5N6, which is known to have a 100 percent mortality rate on chickens. Some 12,000 birds on the farm have been slaughtered. While no other poultry farms are within 500 meters of the infected farm, the ministry issued a 48-hour standstill on all poultry farms with the measures to remain in effect for seven days in Kuchang and nearby areas. The ministry will also carry out disinfection on all poultry and livestock farms nationwide, as well as expanding control stations on major roads. The avian influenza alert status was also raised to the highest level in order to stop the virus from spreading further. On Monday, Prime Minister Lee nak directed related government ministries and provincial governments to do everything they can to stop a possible outbreak. Initial actions and careful site management are critical in preventing a further outbreak. Those first actions must be bold and quick, even if it seems too much, and a thorough preventive system must be maintained until the situation is completely under control. The Prime Minister also ordered an epidemiological investigation to find the source of the infection on top of expanding disinfection facilities nationwide. This is Korea's first bird flu case in five months since the government confirmed the previous outbreak in July. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.